First and foremost, I think people are, are going to be amazed by how beautiful this building is. It also is wonderful how the building focuses attention on the Louis Kahn building. And I think the, the collections installed in the Renzo Piano building look absolutely spectacular. This building echoes the Louis Kahn building in many ways, but Renzo Piano has made this building very much his own. Well, among the most prominent features of the Piano Pavilion are these massive wooden beams that are over 100 feet long. These were made in Canada and Vancouver and then shipped to Fort Worth. There are so many distinctive features about this building. The floors, for instance, have never been made before. They're what Renzo Piano calls breathing floors. Uh, there's also concrete on the walls in these galleries, and concrete is a very unusual material against which to hang old master paintings. They're lighter in color than the typical concrete, and that's because they are mixed with titanium. These walls are 2% by volume titanium and they're silky smooth and so crisp. I think the paintings look absolutely fantastic against a concrete wall, and it's so wonderful to have works like these four Boucher paintings on view. I think this is one of my favorite galleries in the building. There's actually very little natural light in this gallery. It was designed specifically for light-sensitive works. However, we do have one large window, which has this wonderful view of the Will Rogers Tower. And this view um, has, uh, is terraced up with steps. And that's because this part of the building is covered with grass. There's a berm that rises over the building. And these steps cut into that berm and lead down to this wonderful window. Well, I'm constantly looking around and, and I'm amazed at the details. Renzo Piano is a very detail-oriented uh, architect. And some of these, uh, the emergency exits, for instance, in the galleries, we had to have emergency exits, and I thought that they would just be, you know, actually it was unfortunate that we had to have them, but of course it was extremely important and necessary that we have emergency exits. But then Renzo Piano designs these incredibly beautiful emergency exits, and you know, I, I think the emergency exits are almost like works of art in and of themselves, they're so beautiful.